Those who are about to play Mario Kart, we salute you. It's Mario Kart 7 online multiplayer against the entire world all at once. Everybody. More than 6 billion people want to take you down on your Nintendo 3DS. Or you can just battle your friends locally, online and local multiplayer. That's what we want, and it works well. In fact, it works almost exactly like the Nintendo Wii Mario Kart Online. Except my score's a lot lower. After failing to get a good wireless network connection for several games, I lost points for that. Why am I being penalized for that? Dropping out of games midway loses points, so make sure you find a good spot for your wireless network that's fast and doesn't lose a connection mid-game. It helps if you're sitting right next to your wireless router. First place, midway through a race. That's about the last place you want to be in Mario Kart. Anyone who's ever played this game online knows that you should hang out in the middle of the pack, save some power-ups, and then make a run for it. At the end, it's Mario Kart Multiplayer, which is the best way to play this game. My only complaint is the wireless signal strength you need to play this. It's gotta be perfect. The downside of living inside a volcano, molten lava blocks the wireless signal. On the plus side, it's really warm in the winter. Anyone who's enjoyed a multiplayer game of Mario Kart on the Nintendo Wii will be right at home here because the menus and the interface and the point structure are all almost exactly the same. Which is good because they hit the nail on the head perfectly with Mario Kart Wii. You play other players all over the world and the games can get pretty intense because there's a lot of other people out there who are good at this game. After my initial point deductions, I'm still struggling to get back up to a thousand. <laughs> If you haven't played Mario Kart Wii, I'll quickly explain. You simply connect to the multiplayer. It throws you into a match. You might have to spectate for a little while until the next race begins, and then you play. It's just that simple. You can also set friends lists and stuff, and the game plays extremely smoothly as long as you're well connected. There's a couple other modes of gameplay in Mario Kart 7, Coin Runners, and Balloon Battle. I'm playing against the computer here, you get a couple different courses, which are like the battle courses, including this throwback one from the Super Nintendo. In Coin Runners, your objective is to collect more coins than your opponents. Pretty simple. And a lot of fun. You can also play these online, and it's a complete Mario Kart package, exactly what Mario Kart 7 should be. The tail attack in Coin Runners is particularly useful, as are the fireballs. It's just a fun mode of gameplay. Let's take a look at Balloon Battle, where you just attack other players and uh, score points. I preferred Coin Runners and the standard gameplay, but this game's got something for everybody. Unless you really don't like Mario Kart, but who doesn't like Mario Kart? It's like the most likable game. It's well made and it's fun. As I said in part one, it's a nice looking game, plays well, and it looks cool in 3D. Assuming you keep your 3DS still and stare at it dead on. And the multiplayer works well, assuming you've got a really awesome wireless network connection. And there's also Coin Runners and Balloon Battle. It's Mario Kart 7. Did you see that one guy's name is Falco? Now many of you are probably immediately going to the Star Fox reference, but I'm thinking the Rock Me Amadeus guy. He's a fan of Mario Kart 7. And if Falco's a fan, then so should you two be, also. Yeah, it's good, but it's unfortunate this does not have a Vectrex or a Sega 32X release. Oh, not Luigi time. See, Luigi agrees. No Vectrex and no 32X release means... Luigi sad. So sad. <laughs> 